know that during the 18th and 19th centuries in England, there was a custom whereby husbands could take their wives and sell them at market. This custom is thought to have originated at the end of the 17th century, when divorce was a complete impossibility. During these centuries, divorce was pretty much unobtainable because of its great expense and also because it was frowned upon by society. And so if a wife and a husband decided mutually that they wanted to separate, this was pretty much their only option. And so this bizarre custom was born, whereby a woman would um, be led to market via a rope or a halter, as you can see in this depiction here. Generally, she would stand up on a platform and then men could bid on her. These sales would often take place at markets or they would take place in local pubs or inns. In 1797, for example, there was a report that said that in Suffolk, a wife had been sold by her husband and she had fetched the grand total of two shillings and sixpence. However, sometimes these sales fetched as little as a pint of ale or a shot of gin. And this is basically because whoever purchased the wife was known to the couple. The purchaser, so the man who bought the wife, was probably already in a relationship with the woman or about to start a relationship with this woman. And so it was a public declaration that the first marriage was now pretty much dissolved. Of course, in the eyes of British law, this was seen as illegal. You could not sell a wife. But because divorce was so difficult throughout these centuries, the practice continued and people tried to make it a more formal occasion. For example, it became a custom that women could not be sold for less than a shilling. And when the new um, sort of husband or man bought this wife, he had to take her by the halter as a symbolic gesture that she was now with him. Of course, once divorce and legal separation were easier, this practice fell from favour.